Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer. I'm Reverend Angela Peverell. We're saying our prayers this morning on the 8th of March in 2022 in the season of Lent here in the parish of Musselbrook. In Musselbrook we worship on land that has been traditionally cared for by the Wanarua and the Kamilaroi peoples and we pay our respects to their elders past, present and emerging. Today we also remember Saint John of God. Saint John of God, John, was born in Portugal at Montemor Novo in 1495. He was converted at age 40 to the Christian faith and before then he was a soldier, shepherd and bookseller. In 1537, he felt himself called to do charitable works and he began giving to the poor and to the sick. And he transformed his house in Granada into a hospital. He died in 1550 and was canonised in 1630. Let us pray. We will proclaim the name of the Lord, ascribe greatness to God. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle is a song of God's mercy. God, who is rich in mercy, out of the great love with which he loved us, even when we were dead through our trespasses, made us alive together with Christ and raised us up with him and made us sit with him in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus, that he might show the immeasurable riches of his grace in kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our Psalms this morning are Psalm 20 and Psalm 21 to verse 7. May the Lord hear you in the day of trouble. The God of Jacob lift you up to safety. May he send you his help from the sanctuary and be your strong support from Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept with favour your burnt sacrifices. Grant your heart's desires and fulfil all your purposes. May we also rejoice in your victory and triumph in the name of our God. The Lord perform all your petitions. Now I know the Lord will save his anointed that he will answer him from his holy heaven with the victorious strength of his right hand. Some people put their trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will trust in the name of the Lord our God. They are brought down and fallen, but we are made strong and stand upright. O Lord, save the king and hear us when we call upon you. The king shall rejoice in your strength, O Lord. He shall exalt your salvation. You have given him his heart's desire. You have not denied him the request of his lips. For you came to meet him with the blessings of success and placed a crown of gold upon his head. He asked you for life and you gave it to him. Length of days for ever and ever. Great is your glory because of your salvation. You have clothed him with honour and majesty. For the king puts his trust in the Lord. And through the tender mercy of the Most High, he shall never be moved. Lord our God, our creator, redeemer and sanctifier, we ask you to cleanse us from all hypocrisy, to unite us to our fellow men and women by the bonds of peace and love and to confirm us in holiness, now and forever. Amen. Our reading comes from the letter to the Hebrews, beginning in chapter 3 at verse 16 
through to chapter 4, verse 10. Now, who were they who heard and yet were rebellious? Was it not all those who left Egypt under the leadership of Moses? But with whom was he angry for 40 years? Was it not those who sinned, whose bodies fell in the wilderness, and to whom he did swear that they would not enter his rest? If not to those who were disobedient. So we see that they were unable to enter because of unbelief. Therefore, while the promise of entering his rest is still open, let us take care that none of you should seem to have failed to reach it. For indeed, the good news came to us just as to them. But the message they heard did not benefit them, because they were not united by faith with those who listened. For we who have believed enter that rest, just as God has said, as in my anger I swore, they shall not enter my rest. Through his works were finished and the foundation of the world. For in one place it speaks about the seventh day as follows. And God rested on the seventh day from all his works. And again in this place it says, They shall not enter my rest. Since therefore it remains open for some to enter it, and those who formerly received the good news failed to enter because of disobedience. Again he sets a certain day, today, saying through David much later in the words already quoted, Today, if you hear my voice, do not harden your hearts. For if Joshua had given them rest, God would not speak later about another day. So then a Sabbath rest still remains for the people of God. For those who enter God's rest also cease from their labours, as God did from his. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. The morning canticle is the song of the blessed. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for what is right, for they shall be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for mercy shall be shown to them. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are those who are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us for our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial. Deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. O saving God, who led your people through the wilderness, and brought them to the promised land. So guide us that following our Saviour, we may walk through the wilderness of this world and be brought to the glory of the world which is to come. Through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God for ever and ever. Amen. In the power of the Spirit and in union with Christ, let us pray to the Father. Lord God, in peace we make our prayer to you. In trust we confirm our faith in you. Help us to set our faces steadfastly to where you would have us go. By your grace, empower us to reject sin. Fill us with your spirit and remind us that we are a new creation in Christ. Listening to the promptings of the Spirit, may we be renewed in holiness that we may reflect your glory. 
Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, look with favour on your church. Your church proclaiming your beloved son to the world. We pray for your blessing on our bishops, Peter, Sonia and Charlie, and to all who preach and teach your message of salvation as they seek to do your will. Guide us through our spiritual and worldly journeys. We pray for our local parishes and for all who serve and worship in our Diocese of Newcastle. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, look with favour on the nations of the world, scarred by hatred, strife and war. We pray especially for an end to the war in the Ukraine. Guide the leaders of the nations and drive away division and despair. Establish your just and gentle rule in those places where there is conflict, that those who act in authority must act justly, with honesty and integrity according to your will. At home we pray for our Prime Minister, Scott for our Premier, Daniel, and for our local representatives and all who serve in our local governments. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, look with favour on those in need and distress, for those who are suffering. We pray for the homeless, for refugees, for all expelled and forgotten people everywhere. And we pray for those whose lives who have been so adversely affected during this extreme weather, and especially those who have been inundated with floodwaters. We ask that you will help us to use our gifts and our talents to the greater good of those in need and for all people. Drive away our complacency and apathy when we know in our hearts that we can do more to help to sustain those in need. Lord God, mend broken relationships, heal bodies that are suffering chronic pain or illness, and strengthen and deliver all whose spirits are troubled. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord God, we pray for the immortal souls of those who have died that they may share with all your saints in the joy of heaven, where there is neither sorrow nor pain, but life everlasting. We pray for those whose anniversary of death occurs at about this time. Rest eternal, grant to them, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon them. We praise you, Lord God, for the saints who have inherited the fullness of your kingdom, as you have raised them to imperishable and eternal life sustain us in faith by the promise of resurrection. Lord God, we lift these and all our prayers to you in confidence. In faith, through Jesus Christ our Saviour, to whom be praise, dominion and worship, now and for all eternity. Amen. Lord and Heavenly Father, you have brought us safely to this new day. Keep us by your mighty power and protect us from sin. Guard us from every kind of danger. And in all we do this day, direct us in fulfilling your purpose. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the Lord bless us and keep us. Make the Lord make his face to shine upon us and be gracious to us. The Lord lift up his countenance towards us and give us his peace. Amen.